Hey, Brian. How's it Brian, going? right? Yeah. All right, Brian. Well, hopefully I won't let you down. No, I did, I did it yesterday in the same car, so okay. it, uh, it was fantastic. So. All right, cool. Is this thing recording now? Yep, we're recording. Okay. Uh, I just want to say to my wife, thank you so much for getting me this gift. And I love you so much. And I'm going to have so much fun. Thanks, babe. All right, so Brian, here we are. Nice day here at uh, MIR mm -hmm. in this beautiful 488 Ferrari. Yep. So we're going to go out and have some fun, right? All right. So, Brian, you've been in the classroom, right? Yep. Have you been on track yet? I know yes. you were on track yesterday, but have you, you haven't been on the track today, right? Not today, no. Okay. So, track conditions a little bit different probably from yesterday. Not quite as slippery as it was yesterday. It was pretty hot. Okay. So, we're going to go out there that first lap. We're going to just kind of see how the track conditions are. Okay. Go ahead and put your foot on that yep. brake pedal. There's a flashes. Turn yep. signals are on, right? Let's yep. go ahead and cancel that turn signal. Turn signal oh, right up on the stock. Yeah. It's a hazards. Oh, it's a hazards? Yep. All right. So, go ahead and pull that paddle shifter back. Put your foot on the brake. Yep. Tight right here, Brian. No problem. So what brought you back today then? So uh, the guy yesterday uh, forgot to give me that thing. Okay. So I went to go get my video and I was like, he didn't give me one because I thought it was just like they just upload it. Right. And they came back down to try to get it and they had no way to get it. So they just told me to come back today to redo it. Awesome. So, yeah. I mean, it was fantastic. I loved it so much. I told my wife, I said, right when I got home, I, I was driving my car, and I go, all right, I'm going to show you what I learned today. And she was like, no, you're not. But uh, I got home, and I started looking up, like, let's see what I can do to get one of these things. And right. it's like $375,000. So. Sure. time to take in this beautiful 488. Oh man, this thing is so great. Which one is your favorite? Well, you know, they all have kind of their uniqueness about the car. Yeah. Uh, but because I'm 6'4". Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, this can't be not this, super comfortable. This, actually, the Ferrari's not bad. The Huracan is not very good. Really? Yeah. So we're going to go ahead. For, for leg room? We're going to pull right up behind that red Ferrari, the maroon one. Yep. So give it some gas. Yeah, the Huracan's really tight. And then all the way over to the left. All right, so you've been in the, you were in the classroom yesterday. Did you go in the classroom today? No. No classroom today. No classroom today. So a little refresher from yesterday's classroom. We talked about a lot of different things when you're in the classroom, when you're on track with your instructor. Okay. Pop quiz, two yellow cones. Gotcha. Lay off the brake. Off the brake. Yeah, so we're off the gas. Me give no gas, lift. Mm -hmm. Off. After that, you're going to see some red cones. What's mm -hmm. that? Start breaking. Start breaking hard. Break. 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 Clench break. Your fist. Shake my fist. More break. Yep. If I start punching in the kidneys, that's yep. even more. But that's I'm, I'm harder just break. Right. <laughs> so break. Okay. Once you're slow enough, you'll see me open my hand. Okay. That means come off the brake nice and smooth. Okay. And then you're going to look for a stand up tip down cone. You want Brian. You want to get all the way to that cone. It's going to maximize the corner for you the performance of the car okay and it's going to be pointing you down track when you start getting back on the gas okay as opposed to pointing off track so point towards the cone you want to get you want to get that fender whatever corner the yeah. fenders and up yes. near that cone in the three and i know three you, speed spot yeah because yeah. what's going to happen is you're going to see the corners back over here brian yeah cones up there you're going to want to turn before the cone i know that's natural yeah. but just listen to me i'll even like if it's a right hand corner You'll feel me push on you a little bit to kind of keep you that way. Gotcha. And then go. Then I'll say, all right, turn. Gotcha. So we're okay. going to turn in. You're going to look for that green cone apex. Mm -hmm. And how far from the edge of the track should you be at any given time? Uh, uh, three feet. Three feet, yep. yeah. So always give yourself three feet. Yeah. It's not worth that $500 for a cone. Nope. No, it's not. Much better to spend it on another drive than to pay for a, a, you know, a, a cone. So we're going to apex by that bright green cone like you see right there yep then we're going to track out okay 
and then we're going to do it all over again. Gotcha. So you'll see me pointing on the track. You'll see me giving you that lift signal, brakes, release the brakes, gas. Yeah. Sometimes if I just want you to kind of roll on the throttle nice and easy, you'll see me kind of spinning the finger, okay. saying, all right, more gas, more gas, you know, a little bit more, almost like you're kind of accelerating onto yeah. the interstate. Yeah, punch it, yeah. Not as opposed to just punching yeah. it. So a couple of thing, pointers about the track. So in this little chicane up here where we've got the cone set up, mm -hmm. nice and easy through there. No reason to go quick through there. Right. Not worth the risk. So take it nice and easy. Give yourself, you know, lots, plenty of room around yeah. those cones. Get it straight. But as we come out, the tendency is you see straight ahead, you just want to punch it. You want to, go, you want to be straight first. But you want to roll onto the gas nice and smooth. Gotcha. Don't okay. just mash yeah. it. Because what's going to happen is it's going to spin the tires up. We're going to get a little squirrely. Yep. And then we're going to have to slow it down. Yeah. So roll on that gas. And then when you see me giving the gas, but hey, you know, we're, we're going fast enough now. We can give it full throttle. So you'll see me give the thumbs up. Gotcha. And then we're going to start looking for those two yellow cones. And I'll say, all right, Brian, get ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, lift. Brian, if you want to slow down before then, by all means, go ahead and slow down. Don't use the brakes. No, yeah. But you can slow down. And only, you know, stay within your comfort zone is kind of what I'm saying. Gotcha, yeah. So some people aren't comfortable with some of the speeds that these cars are capable of, which is fine. Oh, yeah. I want them to have fun, stay in their comfort zone. So we're kind of come down to those two yellow counts. It's going to be a lift. And then there's going to be a pause, Brian, between that lifting and braking. You're not going to go lift, brake. Right. You're going to go lift, coast, coast, coast. And depending on how firm you get into the brakes, then it's going to be brakes. Gotcha. Okay. Then once we're slow enough, you might release the brakes and then roll another 50 feet before we actually turn. Yeah. Does that make yeah. sense? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm pumped again. I just this was so much fun. When I was in the, I did the, the lead car thing yesterday. And I was in the back seat. Okay. And man, Dylan ripped around this thing. Right. And at first, I was sitting there going, "Man, I don't know if I want to do this or not." Right. But then after getting behind the wheel of the car and you have control of it, right. it's so much better. But being in the back seat of a car that a yeah, guy that's you're driving sliding like around a, in yeah, the car. Yeah. Yep. And I tell customers, I say, "Hey, you know, this last lap is going to be more about just kind of having some fun." Yeah. Uh, not that you're going to drive at this pace, yeah. Because we want you to drive, you know, at that level for you. That's you know a, a comfortable pace that is within your ability. Yeah. And everybody's abilities are a little bit different. Yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, if I, you know, the funny thing is, is I don't even think I want a car like this. Oh like, really? Like, like in a way, I would, but I would just get in trouble all the time. I also wouldn't want to drive it in Memphis, because... Roads aren't so good? Well, it's that, and about, uh, like, 60% of people don't have car insurance. Oh, boy. So, <laughs> that I would not want. Not good. But, uh, it's, uh, as far as, like, the city itself is, I mean, it's fantastic, but it, uh, there's no way my wife would let me ever have something like this. <laughs> She's going to see this all on video, too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, baby. Those things are pretty quick too. Yeah, the Impalas. Yeah, yeah. they're because uh, they have like the uh, they have the 6.2 inside of them. Right. They have the same engine as like the newer Corvette, not the new new Corvettes, but yes. like the uh, for that for that air. So. Yep. Yep. You same. could get you could get them in a six speed too. They're super rare, but. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, the cars themselves are not that common, and yeah. definitely having a. Well, they, yeah, they stopped making them in 2017, I think. So. Yeah, and they I know because of the shutdown and stuff in the factory and yeah. stuff, getting parts for them is hard, too. Oh, now. yeah. Yeah, they were saying that the uh, the Mustang actually has the most horsepower out of all these cars. Yes, yep. But definitely not the fastest, probably not. Uh, it, you know, it's surprising how capable of a road car that Mustang is now. Really? It's not like the Hellcat where it's just kind of straight line speed. Yeah. Yep. I follow that guy. Hold on. Yep. Let's see what he does. Yeah, we're going to go right in behind him, Brian. Yep. So go ahead and swing out. Yep, swing, swing out up. right behind the Ferrari. Yep, we're going right behind okay. the Ferrari. Is there a way to push the thing in, this thing in? Yes. Yep. Uh, 
This one has a manual, yep, right here on the side. The little joystick on the side there. Send them from over there. Send them from okay. over there. Okay. All right. Yeah. Nice and easy around here. Watch that blue cone. We're going to give a nice gap. That Ferrari is going to go right out behind the SS. Okay. But we're going to kind of hang back. You're doing fine. Just keep idling for Keep going. Yeah, so let them kind of roll down. Yeah. Kind of let off the gas now. I don't want to catch up on them. Right. Which we may, even still. All right, Brian, so here we are at Memphis International Raceway in this gorgeous 488 GTB. How about we go have some fun? Let's do it, man. All right, so go ahead and give the gas. Look, way down track. Now you can give it all the gas. All the way to the floor, Brian. There you go. Look, way down track. Straighten out yeah, here. Okay. Not gas. All the gas. Flat on the floor, Brian. Flat. There you go. Get ready. It's a lift. Brakes. Push on them, Brian. Really push. A little bit more. Release brakes. Turn. Nice job, Brian. Look all the way through the corner. Get those eyes up. Start rolling some more gas. And now you're flat on the gas, Brian. Flat. Push on it. There you go. Look way ahead. Get ready. Brakes. All right. Look at the summit sign. The middle S. We want to go right underneath that middle S. Perfect. Now start rolling some more gas. More gas. There. Nice job through there, Brian. See that one hand position? Yeah. Stay left. Okay, now we're going to come in here nice and easy. A little bit slower. We want to give that yeah. Ferrari a, a little bit of a gap because most likely we're going to catch them in the next twisty. So go ahead and start giving us some gas. Go ahead there. Now start rolling gas. Rolling some more speed. More, 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 more. Now you're flat. There you go. Now you're going. Stay right up with them. Now listen to my instructions, okay? okay? Get right up with them now. Listen to my instructions. We're okay. going to go on the right. A little bit of more gas, more gas, more gas, and not flat. Lift. Brakes. Release the brakes. Turn in. Ah, see, so you didn't trust me. That's okay, no, Brian. Right. Back right. Now give us some gas. Give us all the gas. Go, 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 go. Brakes. Hard on the brakes, push harder. Release the brakes. Underneath the middle S. Right underneath of it. A little bit more gas. See that one hit? Uh, easy on the throttle. Sorry. Yep. Roll right up behind them. Yep. Stay out left. Yep. Back right. Yep. Keep rolling through here. You're nice and smooth. Now a little bit smoother on the throttle this time, so yeah. we don't get wheel spin. More gas, more gas, more gas, more gas. Go, go, go. Yeah. 
gas, more gas, more. Stay out left, more gas. Back my side, my side, my side. Now back to your side. No break needed. All right. My side now. Now we're going to break into this corner. Stay all the way left. Brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Bend it in. Stay my side. Now back to your side. Keep rolling on that throttle now. Now back right. Wait for it. Now go. Now you can get gas. Gas, gas, gas. Lift. And brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. More brake, more brake. Ah, uh, see how you pinched that one off there? All right, back right. Roll gas and nice and easy this time. A little bit easy. We're going to follow that car right into the pits. Oh, thanks, Bill. That was All fun, right. man. Ryan, All nice right. job. Woo! A little slower, a little slower, right in between the blue cones. And they're going to stay all the way to the right. And then that gentleman up there is going to have you stop and take your picture. So they're now a little bit more right. I want to get slower. I want to get around that cone. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. You're good. <laughs>